Kerbal Space Program! Hi guys, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program episode... And uh, we're gonna build a rocket. Yeah. Okay guys, I have a daring mission to do. This... Is... Probably not gonna make it over to there. <laughs> oh... Yeah. Nope. Not really. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Get rid of that. Whee! <laughs> Whoa! Oh, it's so beautiful. Uh, get rid of that one. Uh, get rid of that, that, that. Let's actually try to save this Kerbal. Thank you. Ooh, wobbly. Right, I'm gonna recover this and... Uh, Try again, but we're not gonna let the science go to waste, so <laughs> every little bit helps. We got 11.4 science of that one. Amazing. Right. Okay, this time it's gonna be better. Um, let's go. It'll pick up speed eventually. Yeah, on second thought, I might need to increase the thrust on these ones because it's not really getting up anywhere. That's a little bit better. Hmm, okay, not really happening. Do all the things, try to fly away. Yeah, that helps. Extend those landing legs. Drop some tanks. Drop some more tanks. Um, yeah, screw this. There we go. Ooh. Huh. All right. That didn't work out again. <laughs> uh, crew report. Still the same. Yeah. Let's do another crew report from a landing site. Hey, that works. Keep that data. So luckily we did get some science out of this one, but uh, it's not looking good this way. <laughs> ah. So 13.3 science added again. There we go. That looks a bit better, I have to say. Yay, new achievement. It doesn't want to drop the nose down. Now it does. Yeah, and this thing isn't really powerful enough to do anything, actually. <laughs> uh, I should have gotten a different engine on that one. Let's uh, shed some weight. See if that helps. Nope! Oh, we can observe the jiggly goo. Taking a bath. <laughs> I did not know that. Okay. Surface sample, 15.2 science. Good. And that gives me 10.5. Good. Amazing. <laughs> right. I think I have a problem here. Three, two, one. Boop. Look at Bill being all satisfied. Not really, though. I wonder if this is gonna work. We are still increasing speed, though. And our epilepsis as well. Hmm. Okay, let's keep it going. Okay, let's ditch some tanks because... Meh. Um... Yeah, that engine is just not powerful enough. I'm gonna change this one up. I think I'm gonna go w with the uh, woo 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 with the other one. The the poodle, small poodle. But we did get higher up. <laughs> oh man, achievements! Okay, let's do another EVA report. And we can't get in anymore. But it looks like we're headbanging the coo canister. 
Good. Oh, man. Good job there. Yeah. And boop. 31. Amazing. Three, two, one. Boop. Oh, no. Uh, there we go. Full thrust ahead. And we are out. Which is fine by me. Okay, the next one that detaches will be these two. So, let's just get rid of all the fuel in this one. With that tank. So out, out, and now get rid of those. Goodbye. And then we should be able to continue our burn. Yes, that worked. Yes! Get a stable orbit. See, told you so. It would work. <laughs> oh man. I wonder if we are able to get to the moon though with this. Okay. Moon! All right, let's do the burn. Ah, uh, right there. Whoop. So what I'm actually gonna do is get around the moon and get a slingshot up to here. And then retrograde for, well, what's, what is it gonna be? Add a maneuver, here we go. Retrograde for not really that much of Delta V, I guess. I don't know why it's calculating immediately 1000 Delta V right there when I press the maneuver node. But, uh, yeah, that's gonna happen. Right. Let's find out what it's all about. Let's get to the periapses, get a crew report during the daytime. Okay, we got one minute to do all the things. So we do an AVA, we do an AVA report, and we say we keep the data. Gonna do a crew report. Landing space. Inside of the craters might be a good option. Well, not with this kind of fuel, man. Let's keep that data as well, though. It might be useful for future missions. Okay, what does the goo do? Goodo. <laughs> ah. I'm gonna keep that data as well. So I think we got all the data that we need. So goodbye, Moon. Thanks for the science. Let's retrograde ourselves back into a landing position. Ah, that is the weirdest trajectory. Oh, that's why. <laughs> it's polar. Yeah, that's well inside the atmosphere as well. Okay. We're coming in hot for a landing. Um, let's actually ditch that because I don't need it anymore. SAS is off. Let's come in for the landing. Ooh, all the shinies. Yeah, Bill, you've been around the moon now. <laughs> I think I need to place that goo canister a little bit more up. Yeah, almost. And boop. There we go. Let's land this, recover this vessel. And see how much science that brought us. Because I think I can unlock a couple of things now. 81 science. Nice. So we got all the things. And with that, I want to thank you guys for watching. This was quite fun to do again. <laughs> Just the beginning phase of uh, science is always... Uh, trying to do the best with the least amount of parts that you have. But right now we have unlocked a little bit more parts to make even more cool stuff. Um, but I think this lander design is going to be used but then tweaked a little bit with uh, how about fuel lines, right? Nope, oh, still don't have fuel lines. But uh, yeah, that's going to be the next one. I'm Skeppy. I want to thank you guys for watching. 
hit a thumbs up if you like this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching!